Hey guys, and welcome back to another video on Lumber Capital Log Yard. Flash flooding has led to logging operations being shut down. Most loggers hope for frozen ground by mid-December, but that is not what we are getting this year. Today we're going to go around and check out some of these raging creeks and later hear from the boss about how this weather has affected our business as well as others in our area. So without further ado, let's get into the video. Ooh, wow, look at that, Jade. Whoa, this is so high. This is way above where the bank usually is. Gosh. We got almost two inches last night, and I know that surrounding areas got even more than that. So, <laughs> yeah, no wonder why it's flooding. We haven't had any uh, trouble with any of our property. We're nice and high and dry. That's for sure, and that was definitely a purposeful thing on my dad's end. Jeez, this is high. Oh my gosh, isn't there a dock right here? Yeah, there is. It's like way out though. Wow. You getting this? We are now at a different creek and even this one is high. You can see way back where it's all up in those trees and it's not usually like that at all. There's another creek coming down that way and it looks like both the creeks have just merged and this whole area in between here has just been uh, filled with water. Do you see that strange eddy that's happening over there? Do you see that? Oh wow. It's like going in a huge circle right there. Yeah, I see it. I, I cut it on video. Mm, I keep on getting whiffs of that muddy water. It's such a specific smell, maybe at least just to me. But uh, ever since our house got flooded in 2011, every time I smell that smell, it brings me back. I guess you saw some of the pictures there that M and Jade got earlier, the footage of the rainfall from last night over the last uh, 18 hours or so. It wasn't real uh, terrible. The difficult thing about this time of year is that the sun is so low and there's just absolutely no drying. We don't have any frost in the ground yet and the ground is already saturated. So, you know, if you I guess if you just live in town, you probably wouldn't even think about it. But as far as logging goes with the heavy equipment on soft ground, it just makes a terrible mess, which is something we want to avoid, uh, of course. So, you know, that's why I'm at the yard again today, uh, just giving it a chance to dry out a little bit. Uh, we just came through hunting season, which is a big delay as far as harvesting goes, because you almost can't be in the woods. Uh, during any of that time. So a lot of the loggers are getting a little antsy to get back at it. Um, both of my sites are relatively high and dry, but we do have trucking concerns uh, coming and going and, and making a mess coming out onto the roads and, and stuff like that, and then doing any damage to the, you know, the property owner's property. A lot of it, as far as the landing goes, can easily be repaired with the, the dozer and stuff like that. But you end up just creating a lot of extra work for yourself. And all our days are marginalized right now because of the length of the sunlight. So uh, all of us here in north central Pennsylvania are waiting for the freeze to come. 
uh, so we can get to it. It's all our favorite time of year as far as logging goes because it just makes the woods like a racetrack for us. Uh, everything's just fast and, and easy and, and so clean. So uh, the rain over the weekend was a bit of a discouragement. We had a little over an inch and a half, which wasn't that much. Uh, here at the log yard, we had just under three inches. And then uh, north of us, you know, with what's coming down through the valley right now, I'm, you know, speculating that they had quite a bit of rainfall uh, because of just the, the volume of the streams and everything around the mountain, all the little streams are still pumping pretty good. So the crease will probably continue to rise until, I don't know, nine, 10 o'clock tonight. So we're not under any flood warnings or anything like that. So we're all good. It's just messy in the woods. So thank you and uh, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the video. Geez, is this seriously starting to rain again? Well, it's a good thing I have a hat. I like this thing. We just got them up on our merch site. I need one, you need one, everyone needs one. So make sure that you check it out at lumbercapital.shop. That's it for today's video, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. But other than that, we'll see you back here next time. Bye.